Hey YouTubers, this is the last video in my series of just going up to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan for fall. This video starts just south of the bridge a little bit and will be the drive back to Dayton, Ohio. Some of it is going to be beautiful, some of it is going to be not so great because the GoPro can sometimes struggle with low lighting. This part is nice. I think that's pretty pretty. Kate, you came down a little too much bumpies. Really nice area. Nice trees. Seventy, I gotta slow it down. If people wanna pass me, they can pass me. I'm also gonna let you know this is a while ago. There's snow there now. This is probably three weeks ago. I've run into some stuff in life, took another little trip, but it's taken a while to get this posted. And yeah, maybe I'll ramble about something. Try to make it something I haven't rambled about seven times, but we'll see. So this video will have a bit of music, which I'm about to put in there, and a little bit of rambling to it. Hope you enjoy. says this is cheaper. This might be the same one I hit on the way up. Feels like it, Ben. 394 miles. I might ramble, but I'm not feeling rambly. But the colors have been pretty. All right, heading back to the highway with a full tank of go go juice. I want to apologize at the start. This, I moved the camera and it's got a lot of rattle to it, and I left some of that in, which I probably shouldn't have. But part of my ramble, I re recorded, so hopefully it came out all right. To ramble even though I'm not feeling rambly. It was quick, I think 15 days, maybe 16, I lose track. And the weather was bizarre. I had some times where it was basically down to freezing. It was in the low 30s. And then I had a couple days in the 60s after that. I think when I was back in Verga, I did a bike ride in shorts and sandals and a t-shirt. And then the next day, I got a heavy coat on. I'm not a huge fan of posting videos when I'm at the place I'm at. I've had people come up and meet me, and, and almost every one of them has been cool and fine. But it is a little odd when people come up to you, you know. And everybody's always been nice. It's just, it's just weird because people know you. Or they think they know you. They know what you've decided to share of yourself. And there's been a couple people that <laughs> knew my past travels better than I remember them. And I'm lucky that I don't think I have anybody out there that hates me. If I did, I definitely would never post something until I was out of an area, you know. And again, I'm definitely not one that's going to put a big sticker on the side of my RV saying who I am. Follow me on YouTube. No. 
can stumble across me if you want to watch a video or two. That's cool. If you have an RV, take trips as long as you can, as short as you need to, whatever they are, whatever duration. Don't let anybody tell you you're doing it wrong. Because as long as the RV's not upside down on the side of the road, you're doing it right. You know. Hopefully this will be better. This rambles about the national parks. I was reading an article that says there's a board of directory now and they're trying to implement changes to the park. Kind of makes me nervous. First they want Wi-Fi. And everybody likes Wi-Fi, especially good Wi-Fi. But can't we have a place on this big blue beautiful marble where we go to get away from the devices? and just enjoy some time in nature. I've always seen them as a place to go to escape all that stuff. So I don't think Wi-Fi at every inch of a national park is something that we really need at our parks. And the other thing they wanna do is of course, they wanna privatize everything because it's America, it's all about making money. They wanna bring in food trucks. They wanna bring in, they wanna turn it into Disneyland. And we already have Disneyland. You know what I mean? I, I think it's, it's nice to keep the parks on what they were intended to be. Obviously, they're going to change and adapt with the times, but I think an effort to try to keep a slow pace is a good thing instead of making it all about money always. My guess is that John Muir would probably already be really disappointed this wasn't how he envisioned it, but I would hope he would still be happy that at least some people are going out and enjoying nature. But the problem comes down, as most things in life, it's money. When people realize there's money to be made, they got to find ways to make more money. They got to privatize stuff so other people can make more money and charge you more money to go enjoy someplace. Then the fear becomes, well, if they don't turn it into Disneyland to make as much money as possible, then they'll just sell it all off to the highest bidder, cut down whatever they can cut down, dig out whatever they can dig out. So my basic philosophy and my original ramble, I think, was a lot better, but it was rattly. <laughs> But my basic thing is, the national parks are amazing. Do your best to see them, do your best to support them, and let's hope one day that our grandkids get to enjoy them as well. Cars seem to run in packs. I just got passed by a pack. <laughs> but back on the national park thing, um, for your own benefit, not because I say you should, go visit your national parks. State parks too, county parks, all, just go visit them. And for me, I think I view it almost as a donation, but I get the National Parks Pass every year. It's only 80 bucks. And if you visit a couple of them, you save your money. And at worst, you're, you're donating to the future. Because to me, that's what the National Parks meant when they did it. You know, if you watch that great Ken's, Ken Burns documentary, you know, National Parks, the greatest thing America's ever done. It's preserving the past, present, and future for the future. And I, I think it's a great place to go. And I don't know about everybody, but most people, if they visit a national park, brings back memories of when they were a kid, oftentimes visited a national park. You cannot say a lot of stuff, Elf Boy. You can just be quiet for a moment. I'm talking to the people. So, it's money well spent, and it's experiences you can't... I'm doing 70 again. And it's, uh, it's well worth the experience. So, go to and donate and do all the nice stuff at the national parks. And if you need a national parks pass for an upcoming quick, quick trip, they deliver them pretty quick, I think week 10 days usually from when I've applied online I've received them and if you live close to a larger national park you can do them right there you can get the annuals it's kind of hit and miss on which ones do the annual passes so this guy's going I don't blame you brother if I have my car you'd be following me <laughs> all right so that's enough for a while National Parks, America's Greatest Thing. Basically, the article I read, and I don't remember where I read it from, just left me with that, oh crap feeling. You know, our national parks are amazing and they, they seem like almost under attack to make money. 
and don't forget BLM lands. You know, those are supposedly our lands as citizens, so they should be protected. It makes you nervous being in a world where everything is about money. So I just say pay attention to it and support the things that matter in life. Rolling, rolling, rolling. What we're doing. And if you disagree, it's okay to be wrong. <laughs> Keep right, accept the pass. That is a great lesson for most drivers. <laughs> Clouds are pretty, but that's enough. I swear to you, the original ramble was a lot better. It's tough to try to re-record something that you liked. Coming up on the Zilwaukee Bridge. I think it's top five big bridges in Michigan or something. I don't know. It's really bouncy. Uh, yeah, I could talk. It's really bouncy every time I cross it. say Ann Arbor. I'll do a little filming for a bit. I haven't really thought of any ramble stuff. Any more ramble stuff. Visit your national parks, state parks, local parks, parks parks. Give them a donation. Forgive me for bringing it up again, but in real time that was about two hours ago. Yeah, I get past a lot. 65 and a 70. Everybody passes you. That's enough for now. Pressing on. It's telling me about 450 I'm gonna arrive. I think I'll be lucky if I get five. <laughs> but we're chugging along. With that window open, which I apologize. I know Vint, but dude, you are killing me today. I think you gained weight. pleasure way we waved at each other closing in on a turn for Monroe I used to know a nice girl from Monroe about three hours away about three hours left to go I can probably make it there on gas Should be close we'll see if I top up just to stretch 65 and a 70 as I say a lot but a good day so far not much to say there's Monroe also Monroe is the home of uh, George Custer so there's that made it back to Ohio. They got a new slogan. I don't understand. Find it here? Whatever. 2.15 in Ohio. Two and a half to go. Looks like I might get two falls this year. Not too awful much change here. A little bit at least a couple weeks behind it looks like further south I'm sure it's more we'll see so what
what have you missed while I've not been recording? A whole lot of this. About 30 miles to my next turn. Yay! I'll sum it up in a bit. I again apologize for the periods where my old GoPro was struggling with the low lighting, but there might be a new cheap GoPro in my future. There's color change here, quite a bit. So I'm going to sum this up real quick, and I'm going to tell you, if you want to catch nice colors, go up to Michigan's Upper Peninsula. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Get it? Bah. That's really tacky. But if you liked anything you saw along this, I suggest, as always, go check it out with your own eyes. It's always nice to watch something on a video to get an idea, but it's much, much better to see it yourself. And with that, I hope you all have a great and wonderful day and you found some of the videos enjoyable.